Hi guys, DevonDarkXYZ, and we are playing Terminator 3, The Redemption. <laughs> yes, so Terminator 3, once again. Uh, yeah, so like I said before, uh, well, in the, uh, the other game I did, Terminator 3, Rise of the Machines, uh, I mean, it was an interesting game. Uh, Could have... I mean, it's far from perfect, I'll tell you that, but I mean, it was a, an, a somewhat of a decent attempt for a Terminator game. But uh, I ended up, years later though, getting the Re Terminator 3 to Redemption just to see if this would be a little bit better. And honestly, I kind of think this is a little bit better than than uh, Rise of the Machines. And uh, hopefully, I won't be struggling too much because I do find this game a little bit more on the difficult side, but... A little bit more entertaining. All right. Uh, I'm not sure how I'm gonna do this. File, I'll select. Start a new game. Yeah, I could probably do that. Start a new game. Well, actually, I, no. Actually, thinking about it, if I start a new game, I, I'll probably lose all my, all the progress up to this point. Maybe I don't know. Like I really, it's not like I really gotten. Yeah, I just gotta stick with the current profile I have. It really is not gonna matter too much to be honest. All right, chapter one, part one. Two minutes, then fall back. All right, so kind of similar, I guess, to Rise of the Machines. They ended up, uh, Techcom ended up managing to uh, capture an infiltration Reset unit. Net reconfiguration. Good to go. Optics online, activating full motor control. Okay, run a diagnostic to calibrate your controls. All right, so 
I guess we're trying to calibrate our controls, calibrate ourselves. <laughs> After all, we, we just got a complete system reboot. Uh, so, uh, just trying to remember how this game works. Yeah, this game is different compared to Rise of the Machines in that it. Uh, this is more of like a. I guess the best way to put it is like a over the shoulder arcade type shooter. <laughs> Yeah, where you essentially have two different types of fire buttons. Uh, let's see, it's trying to acquire, scan vision, circle, break, grab, attack. Okay. Let's see, things should be okay. I hope. <laughs> Yeah. Calibration successful, but your hard drive got damaged during capture. I've reassembled the basics to get your system up and running, but it's gonna take some time before they're fully functional. Your scan vision is messed up too. Now let's see. How are you gonna analyze the environment, get mission data, or identify targets? You gotta fix that, or you're no good to anybody. Damn it! Looks like it's only good for a short time. Probably not enough terabytes in your system. Try to activate your scan vision again. General, what are you doing? Move aside. Hold on. I it's working. Connor ordered... John's dead. Dead? This thing killed him. Do you realize what you've done? 62 seconds ago, I was activated. 14 seconds ago, I sat up on this table. I should... General, don't. It's been reprogrammed. John was right. It's just a machine. That's all it is. Look, what's your mission? To travel back to 2003 and ensure the survival of John Connor and Catherine Brewster. General, he's our only option. Does Skynet know you've been reprogrammed? Affirmative. My internal transponder was activated at system startup. Skynet is aware of my new mission and will attempt to terminate me. Damn, this is Brewster. Initiate red alert and get base defenses ready now. Let's move. Since your hard drive is fragmented, you'll need terabytes for system upgrades. Your logic recall is intact and will generate new terabytes based on terminated enemies and completed objectives. See if your upgrade system is working properly. Well, I mean, I, I honestly, in this case, though, I, I kind of fully upgraded everything. <laughs> yeah, so, uh... Yeah, I mean, at this point, I, I kind of did fully upgrade everything, though. Kind of reaching to recharge vision time, vision damage, vision charge. A lot of stuff just involves your your scan mode. Uh, of course, charge just the charge just basically tells you how much energy you can recharge from like enemies or the environment. Uh, vision time allows you. Got it. Just tells you how long you can stay in vision, vision mode, scan mode up to five and a half seconds how much damage you do in vision time if some weird reason going into into that scan mode actually increases your damage you can do up to twice the amount of damage and of course uh, vision charge just kind of tells you how fast it recharges over time which being 2.17 times the max <laughs> but uh yeah is everything is fully upgraded, so I don't have to worry too much about that. Uh, yeah, because this is kind of almost like an, a fighting game type scenario, because you could actually do hand-to-hand -hand combat somewhat, but n n nothing as awkward as like the one-on-one uh, -on -one fights from Rise of the Machines, but yeah, you can do technically uh, you know, hand to hand based combat That's if needed. Enough. Okay. Increase in Skynet activity north of the compound. Order a lockdown of the front gates. We need to get him out of here. To get to 2003 and accomplish your mission, you need to penetrate the time displacement chamber. It's behind front lines, deep inside the Skynet bunker. Take this. That weapon shoots armor piercing projectiles. It'll get you started. <laughs> oh no, random guy that I don't know. Well, actually, it was his fault just running out into the open like that. Uh, 
Okay. Uh, circle to activate scan vision. And of course you can tell by the scan vision based on the little bar next to your power. Okay, just trying to get a feel for it. Uh, I got mission time, got points. Excellent. Okay, so L2 is to talk. Reload is R2. Piece of cake. <laughs> Granted, I didn't do much there. But good enough. Hope you were worth the sacrifice. Uh, we'll see. And that... Well, yeah, that was technically <laughs> mission one. <laughs> Just taking care of that FK hover, but... Uh, yeah, that's it. Of course, that you are great at the end of each mission, depending on time, enemies, any secrets, and energy recover. Well, how much energy you have, and of course you get TB terabytes, whatever it was. I don't know about whatever we called it. <laughs> okay, second mission here. Uh, vehicles have dual weapons. Vehicles can in power slides. Some attacks provide charge. As you have three charges throughout the entire level. Starting weapons, the assault rifle. Okay. Yeah, it may seem easy now, but it will get progressively harder. Um, unfortunately, there's no checkpoints or anything like that, so you, you have to pretty much complete each mission in one clean shot. <laughs> and unfortunately, some of these missions are a little bit on the lengthy side. Uh, I mean, roughly about maybe 10 to 15 minutes, but still, it's, uh, if you don't know what you're doing, you can easily get, get yourself killed. Okay, objective, disable FK command engines, keep FK command within 400 meter distance, and of course, get per your parameters, get the most amount, if you can do this in under 7 minutes, good luck with that. New program executed. Power recharge. Watch out, watch out. Give me that gun. <laughs> All right, time to dual wield. Ah, oh, you got a little catchy one-liners. Well, at least one thing I can say right off the bat. At least the uh, controls don't feel stiff. More. Uh, yep. That is what I'm talking about. I see someone. Yeah, so at least one thing the controls don't feel stiff compared to Rise of the Machines. Thank God. <laughs> and I guess also in terms of graphics at this point, it's not that bad. Okay, power slide square. <laughs> Take a shortcut. <laughs> I 
I gotta be careful because the vehicle also has its health as well. <laughs> and if the vehicle goes, then uh, you gotta be on huffing on foot for the rest of the mission. Have a nice trip. This is where you get off. We must destroy the engine to capture it. Got one engine. Trying to get close here. Well, I might need to change vehicles pretty soon, though. <laughs> Two more engines. I stay close. Keep at it. <laughs> Still got one more engine to destroy off that thing. Come on. Stay with the command ship. Do I give me one more? Woo, all right. Proceed through the building. Keep at it. Sir. 
Oh, don't worry, he's fine. <laughs> Okay, uh, surprisingly, I actually did that in seven minutes, within seven minutes, just by a few seconds. <laughs> All right, uh, yeah, let's just keep going here. Okay, M240 and a machine gun, explosive vehicles in area to charge zones. So I'm still after the uh, FK command. Okay. Let's see. Follow FK Command Core. Keep FK Command Core within 400 meter distance. Terminate all FK aerials. And to get the best, get the most TB, we can do it in five minutes. <laughs> I doubt that. Need to acquire new transportation. I need another gun. Alright, at least I got another gun. <laughs> You know, kind of like also, kind of like also with the uh, Rise of the Machines, I do like how, seeing, how you can see battle damage <laughs> with the T-850. T oh, God. Get off. So we have vehicle chase sequence, now we have kind of somewhat of an on-rail sequence. <laughs> so at least gameplay does vary. Granted, this vehicle is not gonna last. Are we close to a charge point? <laughs> yes, I'm about to. That's great, but can I get some health? <laughs> oh, this vehicle is gonna not gonna last. <laughs> 
bit of delay, but I'll take it. Still within the distance. They're within 400 meters, though, so... They got <laughs> Excellent. Need more power. I need to change vehicles here. Again. <laughs> Target is out of range. I require a vehicle. Roger that. Yes. Another chopper. <laughs> To the Skynet bunker. It's a trap! It's a trap! We need air support now! Get out of here! Everybody hang on back there! I'm getting shot up, guys. Yes. Aerials on our tail! Is the RPG operational? Make yourself useful. All right. Trying to destroy these things while also avoiding the plasma shots. Okay. Terminated. We must return to the Skynet bunker. Roger that. I found the hole. Let's hope it's not infested. Oh, of course, it wouldn't be that easy. All right. Well, actually, I'm gonna probably call it right about here, actually. <laughs> Uh, I mean, it's, it's a decent start, and so far I'm actually doing okay, <laughs> compared to, I think last time I was kind of somewhat struggling a little bit, but, uh, yeah, I mean, so far I, I actually think this game is a, I still think this game right now is still better than Rise of the Machines, I mean, it, it feels more stable, more functional, and honestly it has more variety than, than the Rise of the Machines, so thank god for that. Uh, I, granted, yes, the plot is still roughly the same, just a little bit to, a little bit different, varied a little bit, but uh, yeah, the overall arcing plot is roughly the same, though, to the actual movie. But uh, we'll see how this turns out, and hopefully I can get to this a little bit soon. Alright guys, this is Devil Hunter XYZ, and until next time.